Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you the Ruger New Vaquero chambered in 357 Magnum. So let's first just open up the box and see what we have here. Alright, so if you buy this gun brand new, this is what you get, uh, except for that, which I'll talk about in a sec. So you get a Ruger padlock thing. You can use it to lock your gun, or you can use it wherever you want, really. Uh, you get these little special keys and you get a cartridge that was fired out of the gun for whatever reason and then you get a bunch of little catalog things and the manual and one of these that's what you get in there and then of course there is the gun itself, you see there. Um, now it comes with black handles to begin with, but I always paint my handles, or my grips, sorry, not the handles, the grips. I've painted them various times, that's why they're not black. But it comes with black, and you can get aftermarket grips for it. But um, as I said, this is chambered in 357 Magnum. It can also shoot your gate special. And it's a single action um, Colt uh, clone. Sorry, it's a single action Colt clone. It's based off of the Colt single action army. So it's uh, single action. And for those of you who don't know what single action means, it means that you have to pull back the hammer and then pull the trigger. If you just pull the trigger, nothing happens. Also, for you safety nuts out there, uh, yes, my. My gun here is unloaded. So, um, this gun, I've had it for two years now, and it's just amazing. It's it can it's been through a lot of rough roughing, and you know the sight hasn't got bent or anything. Nothing's got bent. It's a solid construction, and I've had no problems. The Barrel is five and a half inches long. I believe they make a longer barrel version of this, but I'm not entirely confident on that, so don't quote me. But they do make a 45 Colt version of this as well. And let me just grab these little keys here. So these little keys are actually... Oh, and by the way, if you heard the rattling that whole time, that was because the grip I loosened it up a little bit before the video, so this wouldn't take as long. But you take the key, and then on the one side of the key, you've got this little screwdriver thing. And on the other side, you have the little key. All right. So you can use this to unscrew the screw on the grips to remove the grips. So that you can replace them, but you can also you can also, if you can see right here, let me try to yeah, right there, right there. You take this key, and right now the groove is facing up. There's a little groove. I don't know if you saw that, but you line this up and you put the key in. You turn it clockwise until it's facing down or until it stops and then now your gun is safe and it will not pull the hammer back so you can do this if you have like kids around and you don't have like a safe you could easily just put this on your key ring and then have this in the house and you wouldn't have to worry about anyone getting hurt well unless they use it like a club because it is a pretty hefty gun um, so yeah, that's a really nice safety feature. So I'm just gonna put that back. You just gotta turn it back to upright position by turning it counterclockwise and it will unlock itself. And then you can put the grips back on like so, like, <laughs> like so.
it is nice and secure. There's no wobble. It's very, very secure. Um, if you would like to take the cylinder out, the cylinder comes out by pushing on this here, this button here. You push that and you pull this out. You pull this out and then you can just open this and it'll wiggle out. And you can use that, uh, you can do that just for cleaning. So that's what that's for. And then on a, on a side note, when you, if you get this gun, be sure that when you load it, after you load it, so when you load it and you close this, this still has to slide to lock into place. That was never a good example. This has to slide to lock into place. But, um, oh, that wasn't in all the way. That was weird. Sorry, I didn't have the, uh, this pushed in all the way. That's why I was acting weird. Anyways, so when you do this, it still has to, it still has to rotate one time to lock. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on the camera, but I have this groove on mine that goes around the entire thing. And if you don't want that to happen to your gun, whenever you load it, instead of spinning it, pull back the hammer and then do that. And you won't end up with a stupid groove. So anyways, that is pretty much all I got for this one. And, oh, right, actually, here, I'll show you the sights. Pull that back. Let's see if I can, if I can do this. This is kind of difficult. Um, I can barely see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. They're just gutter sights. I don't know if you saw that very well, but they're really accurate. They're very, very accurate. This gun's very accurate. And I, I can shoot with it all day. It's amazing. It's very comfortable and there's not a lot of kick. I mean, people always say that 357 has a good amount of kick. I don't feel a lot of kick when I shoot this. Very nice. So that's all I got for this one. I will be doing a shooting video in the future. So be sure you guys subscribe for that. Um, I can't do it right now, but I will be doing one in the future of this a shooting test and a shooting video. So be sure to subscribe so you see that and I will see you guys later.